Hello lads, hope you're well. Uh, just out and about, um, gonna get a haircut finally. Got it booked for 9.30, so I think it's about a quarter past now, so just walking down there. Went and got a prep. Um, got a crappy, you know, you can't really see it. Uh, crappy old sports bag that I carry all my camera and stuff around in, so desperately in need of something new there. I think there's a bike coming by me. I know, just a person walking. Bit of an idiot. Um, oh, I'm gonna get blinded by the sun here. Yeah, there we are. Ooh, God, that is right in my eyes. Yeah, got um, anyway, yeah, got that crappy bag. So I walked down to the shops this morning to go and buy a new one, and none of the shops open until nine. So maybe something like a right idiot standing outside there. But yeah, um, I will catch up with you after I've had a haircut. Ironically, it always seems to happen, doesn't it? Day I'm actually getting a haircut, it does, it's actually landed not too badly, but um, yeah, I will uh, speak to you afterwards. So, this is the place Jimmy James in Canterbury. Um, obviously, I've never actually uh, been there before, but I've heard very good things. Um, looks like a nice place, so yeah, gonna give it a try. Just something funny that happened yesterday. I was obviously uh, looking around for places in terms of getting my hair cut and stuff like that. And uh, went into one of these barbers and asked about price and stuff like that. And they said it was between 32 and 50 quid for a haircut. And I was just like, what on earth can you do to someone's hair for 50 quid? Yes, lads. Right, it's happened. Haircut. Oh, I've just gone straight into somewhere with no lighting. Give me a minute. There we are. Look at that, doesn't look too bad, does it? No, all serious, it's actually really happy. Um, found a decent barber, which is pretty much the most important thing to do in any town you're living in. Um, so, quite happy with that. Um, yeah, Lauren. But I've got, um, apparently, oh, this is a small, small place. Um, met the guy that owns it, seems really nice. So, yeah, um, thought I had a welcome talk now for uni, but I don't. Got the time wrong, as per. So that's not till three o'clock. So yeah, just um, gonna pop into shops, get a few bits um, and head back home. So I'll catch up with you there. Just got back from um, Freshers Fair. So just been doing this for the last five, six hours or something like that. Just walking around, meeting people, trying to get people to, uh, to sign up for a rugby team. Got the old stash on, which is always good. Yeah, quite a successful day. Just so good meeting people, like obviously, Last year at uni, like, you couldn't see anyone. Like, we were just in lockdown, there was no freshers fair, there was no societies or anything really. Um, so actually going out and, and meeting loads and loads of people was really nice. Um, we had a massive heat wave again today, so absolutely boiling. I uh, thought I'd just film before, get ready to go out for tonight. Um, need to shower and everything like that, because it's been absolutely sweating. But yeah, no, really good day. Um, made me even more excited for uni. It was way busier than I thought it was going to be. And met like, 200, 300 people today probably, so yeah, really happy, but uh, like I said, thought I'd just quickly film a little bit, uh, probably maybe try and do a little bit before I go out again, so catch you in a bit. So it's a few days on from the last clip I filmed, um, uh, to cut it short, I lost, I don't really know how, pretty much everything I filmed throughout the week. Um, so I think everything I showed you there was on Monday or Tuesday last week. Uh, um, yeah, so went out, had my first social Wednesday night, which was absolutely class. Um, first one obviously on rugby committee, meeting all the freshers. Um, first one out properly. Uh, seeing all the guys again with no COVID rules. Uh, first time I've been on a uni night about COVID rules, so absolutely quality night. Um, didn't actually drink loads, got in at four, so I was knackered the next day, but really good. Um, had a few bits at uni, which were good. Oh, I did Freshers Fair on Wednesday before that, so I was out in the baking sun for five, six hours, trying to convince people to join rugby, which is way more fun than it sounds. Um, had a quality day. Just felt nice actually meeting people again. Probably spoke to about 200, 300 people throughout the day, which was good. Uh, busy week though. Drove home Friday night um, to go to rugby 
my dad on Saturday, um, then went out with a mate in Twickenham afterwards. It's another late one, I think got back at about one or so, so tired Sunday, but then went out with my parents and brother um, for a little Sunday lunch, which is quality, because don't really get to see, well, I will now, because he's a, just as he's gone back to uni, I've gone to uni, but the last three, four years or so, I haven't really spent much time with my brother at all, and he's like my best mate, basically, so it's, it's weird not seeing each other. Um, in case you can't hear, I am not very well. It's not fresh as flu or anything. Um, ate seven at the pub. Um, been all over the place all day, uh, which is why it's so annoying. I lost the footage because I really didn't want to film anything because I look and feel like this. Um, so it's just all in my stomach. Like I feel fine everywhere else, but if I have to quickly run off and cut a recording, it's because I'm going off to throw up, basically. I uh, feel absolutely awful. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's, it's someone at the restaurant because I, I really don't get ill, like, at all, ever. Uh, it's very, very rare. Like, my illness is like a heart. Like, I don't get just, like, common people illnesses. But, um, absolutely unbelievable week, to be honest. Really good the whole time. So good to be at uni. So good to, to see everyone and meet new people. Um, obviously at Freshers Fair I was repping rugby but when I met people in psychology uh, wanted to join snow sports but apparently snow sports hate rugby so being on rugby committee is a no-go for joining snow sports. Um, didn't know we had a lacrosse team, not that I play anyway, but didn't know we had a lacrosse team which is cool, those, those are really nice guys. Um, I just didn't know how many societies we had, like there was just everything. like. Dungeons and Dragons Society and History Society. Again, never in a million years would I join them, but looked quite interesting. I meant to go and see the Politics Society actually, just to see what they were like, but didn't get didn't get around to that. Just quality, seeing life a little bit more back to normal. Um, things pretty much are fine again here in the UK. We had a few like raises of cases, but nothing nothing too bad. Um, deaths and everything are still pretty low, so touch wood pretty confident that there isn't going to be a massive disaster between now and Christmas, at least not now and October half term. Uh, I was thinking of going away abroad October half term, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the video last week, but decided against that now. Um, just going to be a lot of money and as much as we're okay over here, obviously got all the petrol stuff happening, like it just goes to show that one little thing in society absolutely lose their head. So. Yeah, not really, not really wanting to, to risk that to be honest. But um, no, I, I, apart from it's a shame I feel ill because apart from that, literally ten out of ten week, I had such a nice time. Um, bit annoyed, I obviously had to work a lot because I'm only going down to four days a week. So Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, I'm still working like a full sort of eight hour day. Um, so I probably did miss out on a few things. Like it was fresh as week, and I still only went out once. But to be 100% honest, I, I wasn't. I, I, I need this. I need this job. Like if I can, if I can keep cracking on with this, then um, it's gonna make. It's gonna take away a lot of stresses elsewhere. And at the end of the day, it'd be nice to go out every night. But then if I can't do a job, then I haven't got any. I haven't got any money to go out with. So kind of, kind of a bit pointless. Um, I feel like I'm probably rambling. Honestly, like. Things like blurry, like I don't think I've ever had food poisoning before, but it's, if any of you have it, no, it's <laughs> absolutely awful. Um, I, I was messing around, I think I called the video um, first week at Union Freshers Flu. Like, I'm only winding up, it's, it's definitely not Freshers Flu. I only went out once. Um, I was literally absolutely fine, even today, I was fine until about, about 11, literally, probably when I started work. Uh, it's typical, absolutely poured down all morning when I leave to go and get stuff done. So I'm up to the gym and food shop and stuff like that. As soon as I work, literally 11.01, sun came out, clouds went back. So that was, uh, that was a bit annoying. So I think no matter how I feel, I've just got to get up tomorrow and go because I've got out, obviously wasn't home on the weekend, so I've got absolutely no food. Not planning to go home next weekend, so I should be spending a couple of weeks in Canterbury, which would be nice. Um, not got anything planned in terms of go. Oh, actually, that's a nice. It's the president's birthday party on Saturday, so I think he's just doing something at his house. So 
go along to that. As you can see by my voice, I'm just getting just getting worse and worse as you know, so I probably won't talk to you much longer. It's just a shame because I took some good footage um at, at the social and at the club and then I took some more at rugby and stuff like that on Saturday. Uh, that was so good to be back at Quinn's um one as well, which always always helped. Never been out in Twickenham before, but nice little place called the Shack or Shack 68 or something, um, which apparently, for those of you who follow rugby, Hugo Monnier owns it. Didn't know that, uh, but he's an ex-rugby player for anyone who does watch rugby. He's actually on Strictly Come Dancing this year as well, so he's got his finger in a lot of pies, but um, quality guy, quality night. Um, went with someone that I, that I went to school with years back who I hadn't seen in a long time, uh, which was nice. Both drunk a little bit too much. Um, didn't actually feel terrible on Sunday. Um, which I was, I was surprised at, but it, it definitely hit me, hit me this morning. Um, that seven alarm, seven a.m. alarm went off this morning, and I was, wasn't good, wasn't good, weren't proper tired. Didn't, I only drove back nine, nine thirty last night, so I didn't get loads of sleep. But um, literally, I'm gonna record this now, gonna edit this up, uh, post it, and go to bed. Um, that I literally feel in death's door, as you can probably see, I look absolutely awful. Sound absolutely awful. Haircut's looking all right. Yeah, see, literally until about 12 hours ago, I'd had the best week ever. Uh, so, can't complain at all. Um, but no, really good to be back at uni. I'm excited for lectures. Um, obviously, proper lectures kicking off this week. Last week was more like introductions and, and stuff like that. But, um, Sounds a bit stupid, but like psychology degree is going to be quite hard. Probably myself, so I'm really thick saying that. But obviously, it didn't really like it wasn't easy last year. But it was foundation year, and didn't have to go in and stuff like that. It was all online. But like, got the pre-reading for my first set of lectures this week, and I was like, some like 60 pages. I was like, oh my god, so like, book. I don't really read, so just if there's an audio book. Um, pretty much, I get by everything. But anyway, I'm starting to talk a load of rubbish. Uh, clearly, need my sleep. Uh, if you made it to all the way to the end, and you enjoy my long rambles about the week. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, drop any comments, preferably nice ones. Um, yeah, next week's video will be better. Like, as you see at the start, like, I am starting to actually get footage out and about. I'm not lying to you. Um, the, the the filming's getting better and. Being in Canterbury, it's not like London, like there's no one telling you you can't film in front of certain buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, um, nah, really, really uh, happy in a good place at the moment, obviously just a bit ill. But um, nah, we're, we're on the mend, it's all good. But yeah, appreciate you making it all the way to the end and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care lads.